Thanks to Greg at EgoSoft for providing me with the keys to the X4 Tides of Avarice, Cradle of Humanity, and Split Vendetta expansions. Space. It's pretty big, and there's a lot of it. These are the voyages of Captain Sokka. My mission? To start with one ship and 10,000 credits and make a name for myself. Will I trade? Will I fight? I don't know. But join me, won't you? This is X4, a roleplay series. Sokka's Log 8250219. Getting ready to upgrade the Earl King, we needed an XL maintenance base. We purchased it from Shelly and fitted it to Sokka's shipyard. We found a data vault in the windfall system, and inside was the large cannon. We docked the Earl King up to Sokka's shipyard and fitted the brand new mega laser to the front of the ship, and now it's up to us to find the other data vaults. Miss Brax, prepare to roll out. We have a mission to do. That's right, everyone. We are here on the Earl King, and uh, after a lot of time of searching, a lot of time, we have found all five data vaults and have gotten the Earl King up to snuff. Let me show you on the upgrade repair window. This is what we are rocking. So we have our three Earl King engines. We have all around Mark IIs. We have the Earl King shield, the Earl King weapon, Earl King large turrets. And then we even in some of the medium slots have the Earl King uh, turrets as well. And this is the final ship statistics uh, when everything was all said and done. Uh, so a pretty hefty increase on the shields and weapon power. And let me show you where those data vaults were just in case uh, you were wondering. So for me in Avarice 1, right here above the gate to Avarice 5 at dead end, there was one. We also have a few in, let's see, where are my nav beacons? We had one in Windfall 3, the Horde, just beside the Alliance Wharf. We had one in Windfall 1 Union Summit. I believe this is the one that we did on camera. There was one out here past the Hex, uh, sort of southwest of center. And the last one was in Windfall 4, Aurora's Dream, northwest of center. The Hex ended about right here, so just outside the Hex. Not too awful far, but I have to thank Bozo for those last two outside the hex. I had to look up the save file and look at the actual coordinates. But uh, with the help of Bozo, we were able to get the Earl King ready to go. And now that we are ready to roll out, the Earl King will be named for the NCOIC of the Marines that led the charge to take this in the first place, the SS-31 Hong. So we are ready to roll out. And what is our agenda today, you may ask? Well, unfortunate news up in Sokka Space 1, our um, defense station just to the west of the family Takur, or family Zen gate was destroyed. The Fort Brock held up amazingly um, against an I and two Ks, but the uh, unfortunately the old Tharka's Cascade defense platform was destroyed and we can't let that fly. So today, we are gonna be moving into Family Zen just a little bit. I'm gonna put another Fort Brock uh, right here in between the two gates, and then we can slowly and surely make our way against the Xenon in the defense platform and the solar power plants, and we will put the Hong through its paces. So first and foremost, let's get the uh, battle group ready to jump in. So for now, what we'll do is we'll fly and wait and park up next to our admin station uh, right here next to that gate. And once we put down the plot and get it ready and organized, we'll move the fleet forward to defend just this little bit of space here. We're not going to go ham and start leveling the whole system, not until we can get a foothold. But I think what we would like to do first is get some more personnel on this ship. So we'll upgrade repair. Uh, you can see we've got 38 Marines ready to go. We can hold 329. So I think we want to leave enough space for, say, 150 Marines or so. Uh, so let's get up to that 150 mark. 
and then we will grab enough service crew to do 150. That will leave us about 20 spaces for future uh, employees. But I want to get enough uh, Marines that we can start training them up and enough service crew to repair up the uh, Hong as well as fire the turrets. So we will 1.2 million credits in new hires. And same thing, I think, for the um, Tiger's Claw as most of our, or about half of our service crew uh, is on the Hong as well. We sort of split them in half. So we'll, once the Hong is done, we'll make sure that the Tiger's Claw has a full complement of service crew and leave the Marine boarding to the Hong. And in order to speed up the process, what we will do is we will um, fly the Tiger's Claw separately to Hatikva's Choice 3. And then we will uh, convene back in Hatikva's Choice 1 to make the jump into Sokka space. And if the Hong and the battle group is so bold, uh, we can push into Family Zen, get that taken care of pretty quick, and possibly move into Family Newt, as it looks like the Xenon are trying to put a foothold here, as well as a foothold in Zyarth's Dominion. So, the unfortunately, probably the Zyarth, the Curbs, uh, they may be taken out quick, fast, and in a hurry if we don't start moving in. Uh, there's still some... Uh, curb and Zyar space uh, over here out east. Uh, I don't think the Xenon will be able to reach that, but I mean we have a Talati trading station under attack in open market. So it does look like an eastern push from the uh, Xenon from Family Zen. So essentially I think if we can put a bottleneck in here and stop their eastward expansion, uh, that would be okay. Plus, we can claim these sectors as we go and encourage uh, the Talati and the Zyar to rebuild in our sectors, possibly, and pay us a nice bit of change. So that was fast. The Hong is outfitted with 151 Marines, 32 of them veterans, 119 raw recruits. As far as our repair crew goes, 155 service crew with one specialist, 57 able crewmen, and 97 apprentices. Uh... Yeah, it looks like the Tiger's Claw has jumped uh, into Hatikva's Choice 1. Tell you what, in order to get these uh, crew members sort of up to snuff, there is a cock defense platform and probably cock station out in Sockage Junkyard. And that's a little bit closer to home. So if we were able to, say, move in, take care of that cock station, as well as maybe catch a scale plate ship, uh, bringing goods and services to their um, their places as well, we could train up the Marines and get them ready for the ultimate push. Um, do we have time to wait? Will the Xenon make the press to the east? I guess uh, we will have to see. But I do want my service crew uh, proficient in those weapons before we uh, have to do it really for real. First order of business while we're here, I see that a scale station is under attack from something. Uh, we can help out, I believe, before we move on uh, northwest, just waiting on the rest of the battle group to come in, and we'll uh, poke our nose over there and just see uh, who is attacking the scale. Aha, so it is indeed the Argon picking a fight. All right, that's all I needed to see. Next up on the docket, what we came to do. Let's organize an attack on that cock station. Speeding on our way, and the Ithaca, of course, is sort of the spearhead of the formation, and there is the Tiger's Claw as well, holding fast. We have the Phoenix Vanguards and the Behemoth Vanguard bringing up the rear. And as you can see, we are uh, getting pretty close, and we should be able to see it on visual range momentarily. And the Hong is opening fire, and I don't exactly see what we are shooting at. It kind of looks like perhaps the uh, the Pioneer are shooting at nothing as well. But as long as we can destroy the nothing, that is awesome. Ithaca moving in, and there are our Phoenix Vanguards, and the Tiger's Claw setting up as well. So we do have some range on whatever this is. All right, that's one defense platform down. All right, adjust fire then. And uh, 
move to the next one? Sure. Well, our battle fleet is certainly lowering the boom. That's why I like to see some training. And uh, another defense platform gone. Interesting indeed. All right, I guess move to the third one. And no actual base out here that I can see, just the defense platforms. Uh, so those gas miners will live to see another day and we might have to uh, press into Sokka Space 1 and start the foothold process in Family Zen in order to really see uh, what this thing can do. And there goes the Ithaca leading the charge as well. So nice to see some range on those turrets. They're not like straight ahead turrets. I haven't seen her fire the main cannon. Uh, I don't know if she will fire the main cannon, but that's something that we'll have to see on a, I guess, a bigger station, something that can take more of a hit than these defense platforms. But we are certainly uh, leveling whatever is out there, maybe a construction site or something. So yeah, all's well that ends well. Those defense platforms have been taken care of. Yeah, I mean, a fairly decent test, but still, I would like to see something a little bit bigger. All right, let's go ahead and get our plans in motion then to uh, make the push into Family Zen. Let's just poke in, say hello, and then get our plot claimed. All right, Hong has jumped into Hatikva's Choice in an interesting turn of events. There are two Ks around. Um, so let us uh, begin the attack on them, shall we say. So K off the off the bow, there is our defense station. So he's not close enough to get lit up by our defense station, but those fighters are keeping him occupied. So hopefully uh, the Hong will be able to really open up here. And it looks like a concerted effort with the uh, fighters. Um, so it may not be going anywhere. And we'll be able to see the true range of these turrets uh, about now, I would say. Ithaca opening fire. I don't see any Graviton uh, fire heading our way. There is a behemoth over here as well. And uh, yeah, taking on those little fighters. Um, so turrets are now opening up. That's what I like to say. And nice, a broadside on that K. Oh man, that K did not last long at all. Of course, uh, waiting on or having the Argon there to help certainly uh, did the trick. How accurate are these turrets uh, below us for this fighter support, however? All right, a couple of P's getting it from the uh, Argon as well. Swarm of missiles. Yeah, we know it's a hazardous region. It's our region. Please don't shoot the Ethica. Yeah, hopefully we can have a little bit better accuracy than this. It looks like our uh, our crew needs to be trained up a little bit, and that's why we're here. All right, so now that we are in, and it looks like that, uh, that Argon ship took quite a beating. Defense drones have came out. Oh, other fighters trying to jump in as well, eh? All right, no worse for the wear, it looks like. Let's make our initial run on up. There are some fighters coming, but what we'll do is we will stage right on the other side of the gate, get our plot put up, that way we know um, the area that we are going to be defending, and let the Argon take care of this little fighter support. And it always helps to have a Mercury Vanguard uh, right here at Fort Brock ready uh, to collect all the drops that inevitably happen. A lot of free money here, especially when they drop um, Man, Nvidium, fuel containers. The big ones, of course, are the SETA components. So a good day for that as well. Yeah, without further ado and delay, let's go ahead and set up a brand new plot here. We want a brand new plot. Uh, let's start it. Ooh, no, five by five by five, I think is enough to fit the Fort Brock template. And we'll create a plot right there. And we are not gonna pay, of course. 
All right, let us load a plan. The fort looks good. We'll go high preset for all. Confirm those changes. We'll set everything. 10 million credits in the bank. And then go to Argon Prime, as I'm sure. Yes, indeed, there are some construction vessels. So construction vessel on the way. And actually, we have some orders already coming in. Next up, then, the Hong. Remove all orders and wait. And then your standard behavior will be to protect a position. Right? Meow. And we only want you to go out 5K. Something like that. You know what? Let's make that 10. And then if anything starts to get in our build zone, our fleet will be ready to protect at a moment's notice. Alright, K in sight. Remove all orders in wait, then attack this K, please. Let's see how we do on our own. Who the king is charging hard. Yeah, hopefully the king doesn't get hit by those Graviton turrets. That's going to be a little bit of a thing. Here comes the Hong with fighter support. A lot of turret fire as well. Hopefully we can distract it just a bit. Ithaca opening up as well. Hopefully we can do more damage than they can do to us. Yes, indeed. The king is taking a brunt of damage. We need to get the king out of there as fast as possible. So the king lives to fight another day. Shields are coming back. We'll have to repair that up. There's the Graviton turrets uh, hitting the Hong, but we are maintaining. And it's just fighters from here on out. Oh, crap. K. K jumps in. And we are not focused on it. Come on. That's your order. Attack that K, please. A lot of good DPS as far as the shield damage is concerned on that. Ithaca is now taking a bit of a beating. Yeah, we need to sort of separate its fire. Have it shoot some at the Hong and some at the Ithaca. Shield still holding on Ithaca well. We've gotten through the shields on the K. And they're not through us yet. But they may be on to us now. I have a feeling as far as uh, what we are trying to do here. Explosion imminent. With this hazardous region, it would make me feel better to get into here and get to a space that we can get our shields back much faster. So let's do our 10K protection circle. Scoot that right over there. All right, in Family Zen, everything is cool Behemoth so far. Vanguard. The king is at 82% with uh, repair drones going off. That will help that crew uh, improve as well. Hopefully, uh, the turrets are still alive and well when it comes to that ship. But we're not going too far into Family Zen space. Uh, so if we can just park right here, everything stay awesome. Uh, we'll be able to recharge. And that is quite a sight to see all of those repair drones on the Hong going to work. The Lily and the Nightshade have hopped in as well. So yeah, let's uh, hope that our foothold can hold here. Uh, if an eye comes, that's going to be like a true test of our capabilities. Luckily, all of our ships are actually here and within range. And just in time, too, because our builder has now entered space as well. Luckily, the builder was able to make it. Uh, so luckily, we are here, ready to go. Of course, those little fighters are trying to disrupt the party. So hopefully, they don't destroy the plot uh, too quickly. And we can get in there to relieve it. And a lot of deliveries are en route, which is what I like to see. And that's also what I like to see, this Zyar Trader is coming in kind of out of the gate so it will have to pass by 
uh, our defense station. And I believe there is a gate over here that they may be able to sneak beside. But the most important thing is just getting a foothold here. Uh, especially against these power distribution units so that the Xenon can't build up in this sector more than they already have. Outstanding. We have enough of the base components to start building the administrative center and get a little bit of a station going here. Uh, we'll just have to bring in some advanced electronics, shield and turret components, and I think maybe Mr. Shineman will be our trader uh, once we get the admin platform up and it becomes an actual station, we can assign Mr. Shineman as build, uh, build storage trader, and he should be able to get the shield, the turret, and the advanced electronics in as well. Viv, what are you doing charging directly at a K? No worries, I'll hop on the outside and do what I can as far as repairs are concerned. So I've deployed quite a few of those laser towers and you can see them there coming off of the tiger's claw to help. Uh, yeah, so we have tried to make an impenetrable wall uh, approaching our admin station, which is nearly built, uh, at least the first component. Once that first component is in, we'll get a manager on board and get a, uh, a build storage trader up and running but uh, happy with the progress thus far. Yeah, I believe those Mark II lasers are gonna be instrumental in making sure that these fighters are not gonna slip through our fingers. Um, as the turret's a little bit slow, those uh, laser towers will be right on point. Um, so we can hit them with overwhelming force. Uh, at least that is the hope and goal. So an Amazon crew member works somewhere else for me. Uh, we want you to come here to the Family Zen defense platform. And sorry, but this is the, uh, yeah, one of the most dangerous places uh, in the universe right now. And Caterpillar, if you please, trade for Commander's Build Storage Alpha. So the Caterpillar will be now attached to Family Zen. Hopefully the Caterpillar can then find uh, some advanced electronics, shield components, and turret components so we can help get this thing self-sufficient. So while we're in the middle of downtime, or as much downtime as uh, we can in the middle of the battle, I am outside on the King uh, trying to repair 11% worth uh, while the rest of the fleet goes ham. But you can see on the HUD that, yep, the Xenon are still under attack by our other ships. Uh, just taking the time to get this repaired up. Viv, keep it steady, please. Oh crap, Xenon are mounting a defense in Family Zen. We might see a big ship coming, and if we do, we are hopping back indoors. All right, Viv, you are all repaired up. Let's get back aboard. And it's helpful that the Argon has sent ahead a Nomad Vanguard with apparently a strike group of its own. So the Argon seem to know that we are making a push and are helping, which I definitely can't argue with that. Let's see where Mr. Shineman is in Trinity Sanctum. Uh, can he find anything? All right, so we have all of our basic parts. We just need uh, these few items. Let me get Mr. Shineman purchasing them and bringing them here. All right, the last Claytronic delivery is on its way, and that will be all of the base components. Uh, then the Caterpillar is bringing all of the advanced electronics and shield components, and we'll have to turn around and grab the last bit of the turret components. And there it is, the high-tech freighter here on Vanguard is our last delivery that isn't the Caterpillar delivering our last Claytronics. So our builder should be able to churn through all of these, and then as the Caterpillar makes deliveries, some of those turrets will stand up. So we're looking pretty good here. Hopefully we can grab or get 200 turrets out of this thing and it can be self-sufficient. Then we can pack up all of our laser turrets and finally make the push into the defense platform, the, the power plant, maybe put another one or two and really lock down families in. 
And one thing about the Nomad Vanguard not taking hardly any shield damage is keeping these little fighters off of us for the time being so we can get stood up. Ideally, in a perfect world, Mr. Shinneman will bring enough turret components to sort of get this thing started uh, so that the station itself can help, our, help us out with its own defense, which would be awesome indeed. All right, and the last okay. thing I think I am going to do for now is hop aboard Gumption's Gambit, undock, and then fly towards that uh, Xenon defense station and put an advanced satellite, and then that way we can see what is coming up. Xenon defense platform. So there's the defense platform at 2.06. Let's travel drive past um, this Huron, which is doing the work, that is for sure. And then once we get past here, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll stop about here, let's say. And then drop an advanced satellite. That will get flung out into the ether. And now we can sort of see what is coming from the wider, um, the wider point of view. All right, let's get back to the safety of the carrier. Now, what I might do to help this out is go out to 20k. And then that way, we if they decide to fly over us, they won't uh, basically hit us from above where we can't see them. And I think that will work out well. As long as we don't go charging toward this defense platform, uh, we should be okay. Ooh, when that tiger's claw gives the broadside, that is something to see. And Captain Old Mankintix is getting him some in the Ithaca over there by that nomad. Still holding pretty fine. So I think this is where we will leave for the time being. Uh, what I'll do is I will hold here until the station is fully built and then rejoin you in we have our def defense platform up and then we are ready to press that attack on the defense platform but uh let's hold out here and hope for the best i will see you next time